So, how do you get film into this cartridge? Well, it goes in here. So what you need to do is, you need to pop the end off. So you pop one end off, and get the spool out. That's where the film will attach, but you need some film. So we go to the counter, in the drawer, if you open the drawer, are our bulk loaders. So we take out one of the bulk loaders, close the drawer. On here, you'll have a roll of tape. So you need about two, three inches of tape. And I open up the bulk loader. There's a little edge on the end, which you're going to pop open. Right. Then on the bulk loader, you have your film. You pull out a piece of film. You attach the tape to the film. Then you take your sp little spool. The flat side of the spool goes on the left side because the crank will go through here. Left side, the film goes onto the spool. Then the tape goes tight around the spool and the tape goes back onto the film at the back. Nice and tight so the camera can't yank this off when it's rewinding or winding the film. Next, you take your film canister. Film canister has a flat part on the top and a not flat part over here, so the flat part to the top and you slide it in, the film goes into the slot and you slide that on. The last part is that you have to get the cap back on. The way to do it is that you squeeze this canister together to make it a little tighter and then you get one end on, you hook one end on and you push it and make sure it pops over all the way. And sometimes it's a little tight but it pops on. Once you've got to that point then you take the nose of the the film, you turn it slightly until you get your film nice and flush up against this end here. Then you can close the lid, and then you give it to me. And what I do is I set this little triangle to that little triangle, and I have a crank. Crank goes in here, and then as I turn, I can wind the number of exposures that I need. So for the first roll of film assignment, I'll need 12 exposures. So I turn this to 12 or 13 or so, pull this out, and I can open up my tank again, and I can pick up the spool, and I don't want to pull on the, the, uh, the canister by itself, I want to pull on the film, pull the film out slightly, and then we take a pair of scissors, we cut straight across, so the next person can use a tank, and for the lead, for what we need in the camera, we cut up the middle of the film, and then slightly to the right. This is the lead that goes into the camera and keeps it tight.